So today we have um oh hey what are you doing? Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Filthy, rush, rush! So this is why we don't get no work done. A two hour job. No, I left, I left my cell phone. <laughs> oh, oh, you gotta go? Run, run, run. Oh! <laughs> what you said, like? Yo, that went totally not as planned. It was not supposed to make that much of a mess. Why don't you take off the fuel lines from your, your freaking harness thing? Uh, no. <laughs> So every time JP comes over here, a two-hour job takes us the whole day. Now you know why. We're in the house. Where's my hat go? Hat? You didn't have no hat. Yeah. Nicole says I gotta keep this on my head to get the sun off of it because I'm bald. It's too, it's too Do shiny. Have dots? It, Do I have yeah. dots? No. no dots, right? It's shiny. So it's working. Yeah. So every time JP has a like a turbo build, like a big build, something with a lot of horsepower, uh, we do it together. He says I got more experience. <sighs> no, no, no. I think two brains are better than one. So well, we if, do it together. What if the brains that we're talking about are smaller than normal people's brains? Then we make one. So brain. we make one brain. Yeah. That's why it comes out better with when we. <laughs> Want to show them how we make the brain? No. Uh, <laughs> So we're building the motor and we're gonna film it and I'm taking you guys along the ride. All right, so a little uh, peek over here. Um, JP's doing the Chinese thing. Uh, no, I think don't You having fun? Yes. I love cleaning. Cleaning is my favorite. And what are you doing? I'm supervising. <laughs> 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 Your helper is sleeping. I'm summoned. So I know I got a lot of crap from a lot of you guys and say, oh, you work on the floor, blah, blah, blah. Listen, I don't have a shop. I work out in my garage, guys. I'm trying to get a shop. So because I got so much work, you know, I... Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I got in a lot of crap from a lot of you guys saying, oh, you work on the floor, you got a mess, blah, blah, blah. Listen, I don't have a shop. I'm a racer. I started this as a racing my own jet ski and I got really good. And then a lot of you guys wanted me to work on the jet skis. And it was a little hobby here and there. Now my website is what I make money off and that is, is an online business. So when it comes down to this, yes, we work on the floor because it's my garage. Now I do have a lot of work and I'm considering getting a shop. So as soon as I get a shop, you guys will know. So for now, what are we doing? We working Work on, on the, the floor, floor baby. baby. Why is it that you come over here? Because you're the man, baby. So we, 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 I'm gonna say we, we, we I mean, just- It was a collective effort. Yes, yes, it was a collected effort. That's where we put our minds together. There we go. So, we figure out why this got messed up. So it, the whole thing overheated and a good guess is I told, we checked this. I was, I, I, I was gonna say, I, I, we, we. Um, this squirrel right here, it cools down the piston and the rod and it looks like this one is clogged completely. And this one, it's uh 50 percent and this one is working 100 percent so if i have to guess 
this was the cause of the failure of the rod. So we're gonna take it out and we gonna see if we can break it loose. If not, buy a new one. Most likely buy a new one because if it got messed up from the from being rusty, which is what I'm thinking, a lot of these motors, people, uh, they sink and they have water in it and then they don't realize that there's a lot of tiny parts. And I'm gonna show you guys what is a bolt with a little bearing and a little, little tiny spring. And if it gets clogged, then it doesn't work. And the point of, of that is to cool the pistons and the rod. So we'll see. And if there's an expert there that says I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but that's what I say. <laughs> so this is how it works. Um, the oil comes through the here. The, the whole bowl, this goes in the block like this. The oil comes through the center of the bowl and it comes out through this little thing. So if we look at the bowl, is hollow it got a hole there and a hole here the oil comes out through here it goes in through here and it comes out through this little hole here and this little hole and then there's a little hole right there and it comes out through there and it squirts on the piston and the rod now for what i can see this is clogged right about there and a lot of that have to do with using the wrong oil a lot of people use the wrong oil the see this is what it's supposed to look like you see how you can see the bearing inside that's the one that was good Now this one, you can't see it, it's completely clogged. A lot of times, people use regular oil on the Sidu motor. The Sidu motor is a weird motor. It, 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 the temperatures on it fluctuate a lot. So sometimes they're cold, sometimes they're, they're, they're hot. And I'm not an expert in this, but I know that I take in some motors apart that people use regular car oil and they slouch the, like two inches on the bottom of, of the of the of the motor and when they use the right oil which is high in detergent so it cleans the motor um, it's perfect so I'm guessing this guy was using the wrong oil all right all right so we put in we put in three new ones we don't want to take a chance and hey why are you laughing at me <laughs> so we put in three new ones and we don't want to take the chance and hopefully that will fix the problem so we'll see one day we can shine it <laughs> no i saved it this morning for you How's that look? <laughs> this is why we don't get nothing done. I'm working. I don't know what y'all are doing. <laughs> y'all are over here talking about all this science and fuel and detonation and. I'm 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 teaching him. I'm teaching him that what happens when people use 87 or 10 gas on jet skis. You shouldn't do that because you detonating. Uh, GTI. A lot of people make the mistake on a GTI. A GTI is 10 and a half to one, no, or 10, 10, 10 to one, 10 and a half, whatever it is. That's a lot of compression. And it's made for 93, premium fuel. So a lot of people say, oh, it's not, it's not supercharged. I can put uh, 87 or 10. No. You have a better chance doing that with the supercharged motor, not beating on it, than to do it with the NA motor. Right. Because and it's a lot of compression. Motor is just less yep. So what you're doing is you're beating up your bearings. And a lot of times those NA motors, they, they don't have forged pistons. They, the pistons are weaker. So they're cast pistons. So all that beating, it, it, 
just completely goes apart. And I seen, I probably done 10 since I've been doing jet skis that the piston completely disintegrate. And mostly it's because they're using the wrong fuel. So we got the crank in and we're tightening out the, we're torquing the, we got the crank in and now we're torquing the rods. So put JP here to work. I'm a princess, I can't do all the work. <laughs> you know what you're doing? Nope, not a clue. Yeah, nah, me either. So that makes two of us. <laughs> all right, so we got everything um, torqued down. Got everything torqued down, got a lightweight uh, kind of balancer. Um, and we are ready to put some silicone and close it up. Having fun? Yes, always. You're sweating. I'm always sweating. There's no AC in here. There's AC. Look, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. Silicone. Motor is done. And ready for the head. So he's gonna put the head on, on the shop and on his shop and put it in the on the ski. So now everything is up to him. Fearless. <laughs>